Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're, we're going to get into it. Let's just take a second to welcome everyone to the podcast. Welcome everybody to the podcast. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. It means a lot. You're listening to With Wit with Tim, Date Night Edition. Mm -hmm. Date Night with Wit. And Tim. Yeah. Dinner, dinner, dinner. And as you can see, but not here, we're on our couch. This is what our couch sounds like. Okay, we're we're on the couch. New couch, six penny. What's up? Shout out to that company. The, this, I'm obsessed with this rules. couch. <laughs> we're in the middle of a major room redo. You know, when you've lived in your house for a while, like for us, it's almost seven years, and you've had it kind of the same way, and you're just ready for like yes. a refresh. Like, there's not a lot we can do to this house that we want to continue to do without like knocking walls down and doing major construction. When you lived in a house for a long time and you can't afford to buy a new house just <laughs> move your tv from one room to the next and rearrange all the room's purposes it's really true yeah but it's also we've been wanting to change up the flow of the house because we like to entertain and host but we realize like bring stuff from inside to outside and the flow to get outside is difficult with like the big furniture right in front of the door so we also wanted to change things around just to change up the flow we did want to change up the flow do we like hosting you do fair <laughs> <laughs> All right, I thought we'd do things a little bit differently today. I still want to hit all of our topics. I think I kind of want to skip goal review and maybe setting a goal because we don't follow through with those. Yeah. But I'd like to start with errors and omissions. Er omissions. Errors and omissions. 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 Yes. Did we omit anything? Did we make any errors? Last time we recorded, we said that Prince William had killed Kate Middleton, <sighs> and that was not true. But obviously, we were kidding. And full disclaimer. Full disclosure or full disclaimer? <laughs> Full disclaimer. Okay. For all of our pop culture palate cleansers. We're usually lying. We're bringing the fake news. You should know that. We're like the like fun, ethical, like Ish. in style weekly. Yeah. Look at <laughs> us that like way. The, okay? What was that trash mag that our grandmothers always used to read? National Enquirer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're not a news organization. Let's make that like, clear. Don't, we're not. And just to, just to talk about the subject for a while, obviously like very sad that she Awful. has cancer and we Awful. hope that she gets better, but there's still something fishy going on. And I'm just saying that. I noticed because mm -hmm. it's like why well yeah there's two camps this. who gives a sh which is I'm in also because like, yeah. I don't care about the royals right only because of the crown do I really care like I've never been invested it's one of those things where you only care because so many other people, people care yeah that you feel like you need to weigh in and, and like, like you need to talk about it but they, you should be above that we should not be here. above that not here. Okay, a lot of people because I feel like also be having this podcast I go into dear media all the time and everyone's so young there and right. there's like all this stuff I haven't heard about from TikTok, like TikTok. and I'm like should I know or am I okay just living in, in the ignorance is bliss. I don't really fully understand what you're saying, but we don't have to know about anything we don't want to know about. I don't True. I don't have to know every single thing about the royals to like casually gossip about them. They are in that role as our celebrities and it's it's public domain to just chit chat about them, which is what we're here to do. And there's mm -hmm. something fishy going on and I want to know what it is. Despite her sad cancer diagnosis, I like you, Kate Middleton. Yeah, I do too. Persona. I yeah. have no idea who she is. Yeah. But. Like her persona, I got nothing against her. Anyway, I thought that since we just got back and we're still in the middle of spring break, mm -hmm. we should review our trip. Okay. Are you do down it. to do that? I'm fully down. Are you guys down to listen to that? Do you want to do a full review? Or I'd just like to like... talk about, like, give a little bit of color on each 10 minutes of the trip. <laughs> you will do something every 10 minutes. So the first 10 if minutes, you can remember I, that. my stomach hurt <laughs> and so ended on the side. I know I couldn't remember it if you paid me a trillion billions, <laughs> but I, I would like to talk about spring break with you. I thought it was a great trip. I am not a big resort guy. Mm -hmm. And not that this was a big resort. It was a medium sized resort, but it was pretty big. And like we didn't leave the resort or the pool really like and that was fine with me. We were only there for four days. Yeah. And like three full days. It was so family friendly and packed with kids and Sunny is so social that we were able to 
really chill. It was like the first vacation we've all been on where I really did feel like I recharged my batteries and like had plenty of time to read and lay and nap and mm -hmm. drink and eat. And there was no stress of getting into cars and going to this and reserving that. And what's your confirmation number? Oh, I need to do a login. Oh, you want me to download an app to do like, no, like, yeah, none of that. Mm -hmm. Just sit there, eat Veg. and drink. That's and all sleep. I have to think about. And it was great. Yeah. And that was great. I did also get the chance to relax during the day. I one day took like a two hour nap, I think, at the pool. But I felt like I was just waking up so early that I wasn't like fully rested. So I came home feeling tired from that. Mm, different experience for you. Yeah. Strange but you came home feeling me. refreshed. I did. I liked it. And and I just, I think if we were there for a little bit longer, we would have gotten antsy at the hotel and then done some exploring mm -hmm. or some activities. Because I really. I really want to check out like we could have been anywhere even though it was beautiful in Hawaii and the water and the trees and whatever. But I want to explore more another time. I do too. But anyone who's looking for like four days with the kids, I strongly, strongly recommend, recommend. the Mauna Kani. Yeah. <laughs> Mauna Lani in Kona. In Kona, which is on, on the Hawaii. big island. Yes. I did not enjoy, well, I was going to say I did not enjoy the luau. I didn't really love doing that But either. the pork was delicious. There was like the end of the pork at the buffet, mm. so I didn't end up taking it. My favorite pork is that is, the when, end of the is when about 100 people have scooped their spoons into it before me, and then I get it. Because you get not only that spoon flavor, but like some human. <laughs> some mm. human cells mm. that have mm. just Maybe exfoliated like some dandruff. off. Some yes finger and cuticles yes. that just fell off pork like exfoliated a with a five-year-old who just lost a tooth perfect perfect <laughs> So no, I didn't eat the pork, but <laughs> I didn't. But I didn't eat the pork, but no, it was good. But I ate the roasted. There were like these really yummy roasted honey macadamia nuts that were mm. so good that made me want to eat macadamia nuts here. That's a big Hawaiian thing. Yeah, macadamia nuts, coffee, especially from Kona. The coffee was so good there. I think you need to be there for at least like five full days, and then also yeah, like exploring a little bit. I really wanted to do that waterfall hike thing, but it was. Good to be so expensive and then it went from like being so expensive to then like a 10 hour thing but i'll do more due diligence next due diligence next time <laughs> like well sunny also didn't want to leave so i don't feel that bad I, about really. leaving yeah sunny were you happy with our trip to hawaii yeah do you have anything to say about it Okay, great. So we got back from Hawaii. We had a few days here. And then Whitney was invited by two moms in Sunny's class to go to Palm Springs for a couple nights. And Whitney was going to take Sunny and go. And then she was like, you should come. You could play golf and like hang out as you want. And I was like, yeah, I would love to go. And so we went. And that was a whole nother trip. That was a lot. First, I want to know what was your thought process in accepting the invite? And don't take that question to mean I thought it was yeah, strange. I thought it was great. You accepted the invite mm -hmm. but your okay. thought process i had i had a couple different thoughts um so person that invited me i really like and i want to get to know and i feel like i have i had kind of been mia the past couple months like traveling a lot not doing pickup or drop off a lot so i felt like i, I kind of needed to show up and do this with my kid and then i also knew that it was something that sunny was really going to want to do like if i told him do you want to do this that he was going to be like 100 percent, and the alternative was going to be us here trying to make plans and like figuring out everything. So I was just like, okay, let's do it. Like I knew it was going to be a sacrifice. Like I knew it was going to not be a vacation, a vacation, but I felt like there were just more pros than cons to this scenario. Great way to look at like, it. Like, and uh, I was just putting myself last. Wow. Yeah. You are a saint. <laughs> Until you a came and then I put you last. <laughs> living saint. We went to the Omni, mm -hmm. which is a gigantic hole of it's, 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 shout out to the Omni. It's a hotel. It's been there forever. It's in Palm Springs. It's, it's like, almost like it's run mania. by teenagers. <laughs> Honestly, I was very surprised with how fast like food came. You know what? That's not my real critique of it. It's not that it was run bad or it had bad service. I mean, all their phones were down. That's and, like, true. There were people sitting outside of the rooms like to help you with your keys. Yeah. They, all the keys didn't work. They had a cyber attack last week, they oh, said. Oh, yeah. I know that the Russians really want to hack the Omni. the Omni because they got like a lot of <laughs> national security <laughs> secrets and 
You don't you didn't know there's like a crazy bunker under there? Yes, and that's where Ronald Reagan hid would, from the uh, feds. The feds in his big <laughs> Ronald Reagan v the feds saga that happened in the 40s. See like don't take our Kate Middleton seriously. We have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> no. Anyway, it, it was a great place. It was just like one of the, it's <laughs> it was, like one of those places was, where the whole, where the where the gigantic pool is surrounded by like gates. Yeah. I'm and a- like three rows of lounge chairs and you like have to turn in tickets to get towels and then turn back the towels in at the end of the day to get the tickets back. Pool doesn't open till nine. So you have to wait in like a really long line in the heat to like just get in the pool. Would you say that and there was this was, much space in between the chairs? There's or not this any. Much space? Every chair is like touching the touching, chairs and next you can to only them. get and like, like look, or I, I think you can get only three children, three chairs, even if your family has like six people. <laughs> okay, so I, I I just realized we probably sound like assholes. We were like, oh, it was so nice, and this hotel was not <laughs> no, nice. Look, assholes. like I I would rather not go on vacation. I don't know how to I don't know how to talk about this without sounding like an asshole. Well, no, the Palm Springs is. You would rather not go on that vacation. That's totally fine. It we weren't going on it for that purpose. So No, it whatever. And, and right. And like we had good attitudes and it was fun ish. It was fun. It was fun until sun got like sun sun. Sunny got sun poisoning. <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, he got dehydrated. Parent tip. Sunscreen. Not only sunscreen, but the water throughout the day, too. Mm, like a sarcastic tip. Like, Uh-oh. obviously, parents know to use <laughs> sunscreen. Uh, hopefully. Anyway, so then we just got back yesterday, and we still have, like, five more days. Like, mm-hmm. there's two weeks of spring break, and then you'd think on the Monday they'd send these kids back to school, but they're like, JK. I know. That that day's also off. I know. I know. I know. What's up with that? I know. I, What's I ha- up? I'd have to go through What's my emails up? in order to tell you what the reason for the Monday uh-huh. closure is. But there is a reason. But there is a reason. I like to kind of operate my life that way it's like this sucks there's probably a reason for it like i'd just be wasting time if i looked into why just accept that there's a reason for it. radical acceptance i just want to prepare you though that there are there's only eight more weeks of school and then we're on summer summer break break. and so you and i have to get situated with our plans and getting him in camps and stuff whenever someone says you and i in my head i go you and i ty that's a unity you and i ty So fun fact about me, because we're on a date. So how do you think we did as a couple? I feel like we did fantastic. Good. It wasn't until yesterday when I felt like I'm really done. Like mm. not done like with you, but like I'm really I'm just Who like, will co host the podcast? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm like mentally exhausted. But now we're home and we can divide and conquer Research. and get some self care. Yes. I d- already went to therapy, I already took a tennis lesson. We're hashing it out or just like getting on the same page about stuff. Mm-hmm. We have some work stuff that we won't we don't need to bore you with, but that we should get on the same page about. And yeah, we're here. We're not going anywhere until the end of april so we have three weeks here so chill unwind relax get stuff done get your groove on all right that sounds good what was the best thing you ate last week Mm, the best thing i ate my ube coladas Mm. from the hotel in hawaii in hawaii were so good ube i guess is like a purple yam and they somehow make some sort of amazing like purple slush syrup that they mix with a pina colada and it's so tasty i think i drank three one day and like i didn't even feel a thing good for you it's weird for me oh, yeah i wonder if that is a good thing do you didn't feel drunk no not at all and then i took three sips of that margarita yesterday and was like hammered woozy Right. Too so, much sun. Yeah. It was the best thing you ate. I don't know. The pull apart bread at that restaurant. They the brought out like was... a giant Parker House roll, like brushed in butter and salt, like right out of the oven and you pull it apart and then you eat it. That was really good. That was good at the canoe house. Your meat sauce that you made Shout at, at some point in this past week was really good too. Made a good meat. Yeah. You made a, a really good, good meat sauce. You guys want to hear my bolognese recipe for the eight billion <laughs> Probably not. Channel news. Do, 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 do. We are considering 
recording these podcasts in the car. Oh, yeah. And like driving to a destination to get some food, reviewing it and doing the podcast all in one. Because sitting here, it's a little sitting stagnant. at Dear Me, a little sterile. Sta- sterile and stagnant, stagnant. sterile and silly. S- uh, no. S- silly at times. S- we're t- we're stuffy. Yes. Stoofy. Stark. Starch. Starch. No, Stark. Stark, yeah. <laughs> Tony Stark. All right, that, that was the best thing I ate. Do we want to do a pop culture palate cleanser? Pop culture palate cleanser. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you guys have watched Real Housewives of Miami starting at seasons three and going three, four, and five, but <laughs> what, if you... All of you listening, <laughs> what are the odds that someone just started last week on three, four, and five? I don't know, but if you haven't watched any of it, just go back to only three. You don't need to go back to the first episode, but I'm like starting to think it's like the best franchise of really? housewives like Why? maybe salt lake city because of Julia the crazy agrees. personalities but i just feel like in miami it's just like so much S- more, more humidity salacious more money which feels like there's more on the line uh-huh. mm. i think it's okay for a show that Is has that more a- money to be better as for a viewer does that i mean i guess maybe that's a personal thing but i don't know i freaking love it and i'm into the women and who, that's who do you like which women i get into some detail okay i think nicole's great like it seems like she works really hard and she just seems like normal real cool the doctor the, the doctor who's married to the guy who looks like an otter yeah he's not they're not married yet but right, they're engaged right. um, but you agree he looks kind of like an otter yes definitely. otter is on my top three list of animals i'd like to be in another life an otter sounds fun really nice they just lay on their back and float down rivers and like pop things into their mouth and they're cute and like i don't know they probably have some natural predators well let's look into them i feel like otters are probably mean or something i'd be a nice one (laughs) except for i'm talking about kate middleton (laughs) (laughs) sorry Alexia is fiery AF. Yeah. Like she just does not care and will just go off on anyone and say crazy things. Same with Adriana. Adriana is just wild and out there. Martina and like, what's her name? Julia. Julia. There's all just like weird dynamics in each of their own relationships. Duh, that's housewives. But I'm just saying, and I know you trust me about reality. Get into it. I think that was a great recap. I like it too Mm -hmm. and i have a question for you you like it and these characters are fiery and flawed at Mm -hmm. times Mm -hmm. but generally you seem to like all the women i actually really do like all the women they're there's one you maybe you don't like so much? I was going to say, but actually I do really like her too. I was going to say Larsa. I wasn't so sure about, but I even think that she has like a good head on her shoulders and and I like her boyfriend. Michael Jordan's son. Yeah. He seems really smart and really sweet. That's and... why they kicked him off traitors early. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess my question is uh, like on like a show like Vanderpump Rules where we dislike every single character immensely, is it better or worse? or equal Does no it matter? i think it matters i'm starting to get to the point where i'm i'm over people that i am annoyed by i like want to see people that i like and i'm rooting for and you want conflict in these shows yes but there's a difference between people you like having conflict and people that you really are, don't care are, about are, are, are over uh-huh. and their conflict uh-huh huh, interesting i'm very much into vanderpump rules though right now even though i find them all pretty hard to like i am too because they're each making still like crazy decisions, decisions. like continually over and over. Nothing changes. Yeah. What a paradox. <laughs> I love how our pop culture is just about TV shows. Is there anything else? You want to hear about these books I'm reading? <laughs> Who reads books? Actually, I'm reading. Uh, we are I'm reading, reading books, two. I'm reading by two, the way. But nobody wants to hear about that. But that, that, I hate to be the person like, I'm reading. Like, eh, every time I read a book, I want to bring it up casually. And it's then I so do. Not, and then I want to punch myself in the I face. I feel the same way. I'm like, oh, lessons in chemistry? Oh, my God. I just finished that. You're like, are you drinking orange juice? Did you know there's chemistry in that? I just read a book about chemistry. <laughs> and they're like, what? Who gives a shit? Yeah. So what are you going to watch next? When I, fall I started asleep? watching Shogun on FX. Oh, okay. Which is about like 
samurai fighting? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm only in the first episode, but it seems way better. Okay, good. High production value. Yeah, you like to have like a high production value scripted meaty series to get into when I'm not around. Yeah, some when you're around. We're watching the new look. I love the new look. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't say love. Yeah, no, you can't. I love like the main guy. So good. How, Sam Mendelssohn. Sam Mendelssohn. If that's how Dior really was. Ben Mendelssohn. Ben Mendelssohn. And then we were calling him Fendelson. Fendelson. <laughs> I want to know how much of it is true, but I just, I love him and it's making me love Dior even more. It's great. Mm-hmm. And uh, Or the, uh, sorry, he's great. Mm-hmm. Show is good. Show is good. Show is a seven oh. and a half out of 10. Oh, tad slow. Tad slow. Do you know Tad slow <laughs> from high school? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Best thing I ate. What's up with Sonny? He's good. Look, I don't mean to sound petty. Pompous. Oh, petty. Okay, no, what, sure where we were whatever going adjectives you're about to say are how you truly feel. No, I thought you were going to say because Sonny's so great and you were going to brag about him. <clears throat> right. Well, I am. No, but like some kids got asked to go to like uh, summer school and Sonny didn't. And like, I'm proud of him. Mm-hmm. Are those feelings all right? Those feelings are totally fine. I didn't even know that kids mean, were being asked. Me neither. And then someone asked me the other day if I had been asked. And I was like, no, I didn't even know. So, yes, I mean, we can be relieved and feel proud for him that he does not have to do extra work. But this is the first, like, he might have to go to summer school next year. You know what I mean? Knows, like, we don't know. Yes, yeah. 100%. We, we, we can know. be proud. Like, we have to re- remind matter. ourselves how much they really matter to us. And if he had, we'd be sitting here being like, big deal. And exactly. it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. But I was proud that he didn't have to. I don't yeah, know how to reconcile all that. Relieved. Yeah. Should we talk about brain farts? Yeah, let's talk about my brain farts. Brain farts. I had so many brain farts, but I went to the LA Zoo, walked in with three kids, left my phone at my car, had parked like a mile away, had to take the kids back to the car to get my phone, went to the zoo. What about your key? Didn't you leave the key then, somewhere? Then we got back in the car after the zoo. The kids wanted different things to eat. I took one to Chick-fil-A, went into Chick-fil-A, got Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Got back in the car with Chick-fil-A, drove to In-N-Out and my smart key, my key thing started saying smart key not found in car. And so I was like, oh my God, did I leave it at Chick-fil-A? So then I thought I was going to have to drive back to Chick-fil-A with the kids. And But I called Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you can do a ding every time I say Chick-fil-A. <laughs> And they said my keys weren't there, which I was actually even surprised that I got a human on the phone at Chick-fil-A. Oh, you like called the store? I called the actual Chick-fil-A location in Burbank. Wow. And they said no keys were there. And so I'm like, what, 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 what? And then I looked around and they were like in the crevice between the passenger seat and the door, but they were like in the car. So So F you car for making me freak out. So yeah, F you car. Anyways. No, I mean that, that, dovetails nicely into my brain fart which was leaving palm springs Mm. we wanted to go visit colony 29 where we had gotten married here's an amazing picture that we took there they would not let us in (laughs) we got all the way there and i was like oh my god i forgot my watch we drove half hour back we had to get a key at the front desk we go to our room i go up there it's not in the drawer freaking out we find the housekeepers downstairs they said we brought it to the front desk we said thank you so much praying hands emoji praying hands emoji three praying hand emojis to her and then we went Went to the front desk and they're like, oh, we don't know. I don't know. We call lost and found. I was like, it's definitely gone. It wasn't gone. Back in the car. And then we went to Colony 29. And then <laughs> the car said, engine coolant. Oh, yeah. I'm My sorry. engine are, coolant do, thing do, has been like, on people for. People like this sh- they do. I just looked. Our podcast is like number in the 40s in leisure, which okay. is really good. Great. Great. It's cool to even be in like the top 100. So Great. don't stress. It, all right. If people are liking it, I could tell you about our all day long. <laughs> well, we I, we don't need to know about the engine coolant. But why? It was a major <laughs> thing. We went to the outlets. It would have been had fine to... if you didn't deal with it right then and there. We had been driving with it like that for like two weeks. Yeah. Or I mean, I had been. Well, tip for all you car owners out there: you need a specific kind of coolant. I got the wrong coolant, and then I had to top it off with water. All right, I want to ha- I want to start a new segment here. Okay. Called the airing of grievances. Oh no. <laughs> no. Well, tell me. I had a really good I feel one. Like that's all we've been doing. Is that true? 
Julia says no. Julia? Okay, go. Airing of grievances. I had a grievance that I forgot about, but then I had a new grievance today. This guy was tailgating me in a S4, like on Riverside, like in and out of traffic, like tailgating, red light, the whole thing. And Sonny was in the car with me and like I was like getting ready to like road rage this guy politely. And then I thought to myself, you know, maybe he's on his way to like the hospital. Yeah. And like, I don't know what's going on in this yeah. guy's life. Or like yeah. maybe, you know, his mom just broke her clavicle. And he's trying to rush over to save her. Right. And so yeah. I was like, have a little grace for these people. Yeah. And this mother just pulled into Whole Foods stop yeah and then maybe he was getting some i thought about that too but then i was like that's unlikely really so <laughs> enjoy your rage he pulled in and like went to the back of the parking lot and i pulled in close to the entrance and like was looking over at him and he, he just never came in really yeah i mean i wasn't gonna do anything i was gonna say like oh my god you were really in such a rush to get to whole foods like you you could kill someone driving like that but you think he was maybe afraid to come in or he was just it. shady and like parking in the back of a parking lot and doing weird things <sighs> like being reckless and what just are kind of a weirdo <laughs> Like afraid of me. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I just made a muscle for all of you listening to Listen. illustrate how afraid everyone should be of me. Don't be afraid of me, anyone. No. If you see me in the street, a gentle giant. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a gentle, just average a gentle type person. <laughs> a gentle average. I don't have any grievances to air. Oh, I'll take your spot. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put positivity into the world and have it come right back at me. I don't know. I just want to say that I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning mm -hmm. and wasn't maybe in the mood to do this, but I feel better airing my grievances, mm -hmm. knowing that the world is still spinning and everything is going to work out. And it's going to be fine. And yeah. we have each other. And I got you. Yeah. This is this is what the this these sessions are for. And it's a lot of proof of a lot of times so many things that we don't want to do end up being like beneficial for us. But also tune into yourself and when when you want to say that you can say no. This was the first conversation we have ever had on this couch. Yeah. It's we, a good vibe. Let's kiss it. Kiss, oh. <laughs> just want to kiss you. No, let's kiss. <laughs> Normally, we don't sit this close to each other. I know. We can kiss. We could even hold hands if we wanted to. I do, always. Well, I thought you were mad at me for the last two weeks. <gasps> I thought you were mad at me this morning. That's why you were in a bad, in a bad mood. mood. And that's why I felt the need to apologize. Also, because I, I really did think I upset you last night. Wait, so... You only apologized because you thought I was mad at you or because you thought you needed to apologize? No, I thought I needed to apologize. You didn't. I, and I wasn't. And then I thought... No, I, I had this dream that, that we I... were both on a Bachelor type show about married couples and like you... like. We're inter you, your head got turned, but that that I wasn't mad at you because that's in a dream, and I'm not. No, psychotic. I'll I'll tell you. I I honestly think the two weeks. I feel like I have been different. I think like the fertil like getting the news of the fertility stuff and kind of like starting from a square one again has like taken me to a place that I had to deal with. Have had to deal with, and I'm like dealing with, but. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it just, hard. It was at the same time as like dealing with parents aging, mom stuff. So yeah, I think you're not wrong for for noticing that maybe there's been something up. But uh, yeah, and like uh, lesson for me, like just because you're acting a certain way doesn't mean it has to do with me. And mm -hmm. like I asked, and you said no, and like it's on me to believe you. Just because we spend all of our time together doesn't mean you're gonna be happy all the time, mm -hmm. even when you're not mad at me did that make sense it did and so i need to tell myself that and when you say i'm not mad at you I, I i believe you i know that and i feel like we're we're so good at that now and like really believing each other we we like know those triggers and like how to manage that i feel like i always love to travel and i want to do it all and i have to maybe like understand that that takes a toll it takes a toll on me and we Even need some as time much here. fun as as it is and as much as i want to do everything like it's it, it can be physically exhausting for me so let's recharge this week that's my goal and then I put everything else on the back burner too. Sorry. No, please, I put, I will, when I travel, I try to like be in the moment. So then I come home and I feel really behind. And I think that's not a good way to be all the time. All right. Well, we'll get, we'll get ahead and we'll feel more grounded or whatever. I'm sure every parent at, at finishing off spring break is feeling like this right now. Maybe that that's why we're top 40 in leisure. <laughs> Go go do some leisure, okay? Yeah. I'm going to go do some leisure. Go leisure yourself. Let's go leisure. You said you wanted some alone time, or not alone time, but like some Get out. new time. What would make you feel whole today? I already ha I had a good morning, and I feel 
like a release. I just had a good release here. This was good. This mm-hmm. really made me feel better. Good. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone who's listening. This is a real podcast hosted by two real people. Who yeah. Are flawed. You should read the comments on the podcast because I think it would make you feel better. I like a nice comment. Yeah. I'll read you some and you'll feel better. About okay. It. They'll be worth about one one hundredth of what the negative ones are worth. Yeah. But that's there fine. is a negative one. But <laughs> <laughs> there's like a million positives. What's the negative one? <laughs> No, I don't want to know. It's not. It's. Is it about my hair? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding because I got a good haircut. I love you. Let's go spend time with Sunny or. Come here. here. Come here. Right here. We're done. Come here. Come we're here. done. This we're is our fine, new theme song. Worry. Well, thank you guys for listening. Get back to the dishes, your commute, your walk. You're at the gym. I think it's important to try and guess where people are because then if we guess it right, they're like, oh, my God, that's exactly what I'm doing. Where do you think someone would be listening to this right now, Sunny? Are they in the car? Are they the on the beach? Uh, on the beach. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Sunny, who do you love the most in the world? My mommy and daddy. Sunny, if you could only listen to one podcast in the leisure category, whose would it be? Yes. And what advice do you have to the people at home listening who might be stressed out because their kids are on spring break? Take it easy. All right. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs>